Hello everyone, welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm in Rochester and we're gonna get rid of some old ugly uh, storage heaters and replace them with some, some electro that aeroflow. Uh, before we go on, uh, make sure if it's your first time to subscribe to the channel if and if your second time and you haven't done it subscribe now and also down in the description of the video you're gonna see some uh, affiliate links uh, that there's some res really good resources to help you uh, grow up your business so uh, we have to take this one out and another one in the living room and one of that bedroom but this one is a bit fun because this one also coming back to that isolator and then I will go all the way around and I will be almost fed by this spare which now we're gonna cancel because obviously that was tripping and gonna run a new circuit from this little board over there which is very easy because it's literally just yeah, around there <laughs> and then this front take the power off we have here in the bathroom we have to install the towel rail here, so we're gonna drill the inside the kitchen and then we see from where we can get power. It's only 600 watts, so we can spare it off on the sockets. So, now what I need to do, uh, and it's from a friend of mine, uh, because when you open the storage heaters, you don't know what's in there, and we don't want to whatever's in there to go everywhere. Let's go and bought some. A wallpaper adhesive which I need to find out how it's gonna mix it but if you make it a bit runny so you can put it in here and spray all the crap that's in there and at least that you know the glue will hold them hold them down and let me see how I can mix this and we're gonna start taking them out Watt. 
comes with a drag as well, which we're not going to use. Need to check the instructions in case I won't do any screw ups on the way I'm installing it. Yeah, it looks like it has a very really neat system. So we have this bolt which this goes screws on here and then if you screw this on the wall as normal then you bring the radio it goes inside like this and then you use this allen screw to hold it They're really good I love it neat system This is the towel rail. Looks really good. It's the first time I installed them. I quite love them. Look really neat, and you don't have those ugly brackets looking all the way around. Okay. I just realized I was doing this, and you know, it was coming with a with a plug, which it doesn't make any sense. Why on earth? You're selling a towel rail with a plug. I mean, realistically, how many bathrooms are over three meters and you're gonna have a wall over three meters to put a socket there? It's just ridiculous. And if you have a bathroom like this, this 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 towel rail is far too small anyway. So yeah, hey ho. So that was it guys. There it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, get to it now down there. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.